hello and welcome to this let's compile video these are videos about programming where I prog compile a source code and then test the output today we're looking at maze game which I wrote for basic there's my website where you can download the source code um, the compiler I'm using here is free basic which can be downloaded freely from http colon forward slash forward slash www.freebasic.net forward slash with this game it's it can you can load levels levels that you've made yourself in a text editor called easy edit I didn't have time to make a level editor for the game so I just used the text editor in draw mode and double lines no dead ends uh, in, this, in the code otherwise that indicates the exit of the code the exit of the code the exit of the of the maze rather is indicated by a space character in the text file there's some declarations here uh, the menu which is the title screen with a clear screen uh, changes the color, locates the cursor, prints the name of the game onto the screen, some instructions, and then changes the color back. It waits for a key to be pressed, and whether or not the key is things like escape, it uh, does certain things. See, so with these if keywords, if this condition is true, then it carries out an instruction, and that's true of many programming languages actually not just basic so it's worthwhile remembering some uh, variables are set uh, these are the built-in levels there's only three of them but it's just meant to give them a taste for what the game is a bit you know like so there's navigation and collision detection for the little sprite that turns up on the screen which is just a character an ASCII character and um, mid-string to detect whether or not they're colliding with the wall or something like that and um, whether they're at the edges of the screen it loads a new part of the screen by going to main uh, then it loads the screen data the screen data is these um, ASCII characters here loaded into an array so different configurations for different characters in the text file of the maze and that's the end of that subroutine and that's the end of the program so let's go ahead and compile it and it says make done down here so it's made this source code into a binary which can be understood by Windows here's the game itself um, so if I press any key it loads the first level I'm that little smiley face in the center of the screen if I go in this direction it loads a different part of the maze see by bringing them back a step you know but, or, or rather by being zoomed in it sort of makes the maze more challenging because they can't see where they're going um, it's kinda of like being in a real hedge maze you know Okay, I found the end of the maze, and then on to level two. So basically, um, 
it's it's this is the sort of thing when I think of like adventure games it's usually um, something where you go through like this is a very simplified version of that you know using what the computer has at its disposal you know because in a very simple way um, because Um, with something like you know a graph with a typical game you 've got graphics and music and these things that are sort of made by artists and musicians but for a programmer, I found the end of that maze onto level three so you get the idea um I won't finish it right now because, uh, you know, not only would that spoil the game, it would also, you know, it would also make this video go for too long. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, have a nice day.